Hi everybody. Post surgery. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> I wanted to give um, a few minutes um, to this and uh, kind of keep you updated on what's happening and where I'm at uh, with the gastric sleeve surgery. Um, I went to have my surgery a week ago Monday. Today is Thursday. So I am on day 10 post surgery. Um, I'll give you a brief synopsis of what happened. I arrived about 9.30. Uh, by 10 o'clock I was in a bed hooked up to stuff. Um, I think my surgery was right around noon. I saw my doctor, my anesthesiologist, and my nurse prior to that, so I, I got to talk to everybody and felt pretty good about it. Um, surgery took about 45 minutes. He did not find an, a hyalated hernia, I think that's what it's called. I have the big hernia. That The reason I had the whole entire surgery in the first place was so I could get thin enough to have a successful long-term hernia repair. For my big hernia but he didn't mess with that it's it's a whole different thing so what he did was he took about 90 percent of my stomach um stapled it up sucked the rest of it out it's gone it's never coming back and then he dug out uh quite a bit of scar tissue he said that was the longest part of the surgery was the scar tissue under my surgical site from before he he really uh, got through that quite a bit and i have to tell you uh i'm much more comfortable physically comfortable. It feels like my organs are functioning better. So I'm really happy he did that. Um, I woke up, I'm going to say I woke up about one o'clock, one o'clock. Uh, wasn't really nauseous. I, I had a lot of air that I was trying to burp up, but not a bunch. I mean, I, I say a lot. It just, it wasn't horrendous. I just had to gag a little bit and get a little air up. They had me on a lot of anti-nausea medication because I do throw up when I commit a off of um, anesthesia. So I felt a little, you know, my mind was a little boggled, but it was okay. So um, when they felt I was stable, they moved me down the hall to my room. They drove up right to the front of my room and said, get out and walk to the, your recliner. They didn't even put me in bed. They made me walk to my recliner by myself. And I sat in my recliner for about an hour, got settled, and then they came with this giant walker and had me walk around to the nurse's station and back and back into the to the recliner and then a couple hours later walk a couple of laps back to the recliner about eight o'clock that night i think i walked four laps around the nurse's station at a pretty swift clip and then they let me go to bed which i was so happy about um uh i was supposed to wake up in icu according to my doctor i was in icu for two or three days but i didn't i woke up on a gurney and on my way to my room so um, apparently things went really well so about 10 o'clock the next morning uh, oh I'm sorry I'm back up a little bit uh, they were providing me with ice chips broth um, popsicles I didn't really want anything I think I had a couple of popsicles and ice chips ice chips was all I wanted it's still all I want but um, I am branching out a little bit more now but um, that went really well uh, it, it was a, a very decent night. I had a little eye pillow, thank goodness. If you go and have surgery, take an eye pillow with you of some kind because the light on my blood pressure monitor alone could, launch to, could land a jet. It was so bright blue. So I took a little eye pillow and I just, every time somebody came in to do something, I'd hit a pump. Uh, I had the little pump of uh, pain meds hooked up. I didn't use it very often. But anytime somebody messed with me, I put my pillow back on and hit that pain meds and I was back to sleep for a little bit. 10 o'clock the next morning, my doctor walked in and basically released me. He said, I did really well. I didn't even have to have the swallow test that, that they, that I was told I was going to have to go through. Um, so uh, it, it was probably closer to one o'clock before I was able to actually get out of there. It takes hours to be discharged from a hospital. But... Um, Went home with my medications. I was in bed. Um, took my took my pain med. I think I did when I walked in. <laughs> it's a little, little sketchy. Uh, took my pain med and I went to bed. And that was at two o'clock in the afternoon, the day after my surgery. I was home in bed. Fifty five years old, technically morbidly obese with issues with medical issues stemming from the uh, medical problems I had a few years ago. I flew through it. He told me I was the best outcome of the day. So take that for what you will. 
So day uh, one was pretty much a blur. I took my pain meds when I got home, like I said, and then I took them again before bed. I did get up and get in the recliner several times trying to walk out the, you know, the air. My aunt came over the next day. So that was Tuesday. Wednesday, my aunt came over for a few hours in the middle of the day. Uh, stayed until I was ready for pain meds and, and ready to go back to bed. And then I stayed in bed till my husband came home. So it was easy. It was easy to handle. Although that day, I think, was also the day that I dust mopped the house. I, ha I had to walk, so I thought, if I have to walk, I might as well have a dust mop in my hand because, you know, I'm crazy like that. <sighs> that was Wednesday. I took two rounds of pain meds on Wednesday. Thursday, my I didn't take pain meds. I needed to go to the doc, or I'm sorry, I needed to go to the grocery store because the first few days, you're just on clear liquids. The second set of days, you were on what they call full liquids, which is strained soups, um yogurt, sugar-free pudding, stuff like that. So I was very excited about that. So I, my husband came home and I was in complete makeup, hair done. Uh, oh, I was able to shower on Wednesday, by the way. So home Tuesday, shower Wednesday. Um, so I was in complete makeup, ready to go, uh, and went to the grocery store and put a cart in front of me and walked up and down the aisles, got what we needed, came home. I was done. I was over it. I was glad to to be home, but I was I felt good. I just felt good. Um, Thursday. I'm trying to think what I did on Thursday. So Thursday was the day that I got to start having strain like cream of tomato soup, cream of mushroom soup, stuff like that. So it was sort of a game changer that felt pretty good uh, just to have a flavor because everything is sweet. Your, your shake is sweet. Your protein shake is sweet. Everything is sweet. So it was really good to have the soup as an option and I put some salt in it because mm, I needed some salt. So Thursday I did something. I do. I may have driven Thursday. No, I didn't drive Thursday. I was still on my payments. Okay, let me let me keep going. So anyway, uh, Friday. Friday. Friday, my best friend picked me up and took me to lunch. We went to Panera for soup and walked around Marshalls for a few minutes. That was good. I had pain meds that night. I had pain meds Thursday night and Friday night. Saturday... I actually went out with my husband and some friends to a movie. We went, yeah, we went to a movie and we went to dinner. We had some soup. It wasn't really successful. There was a lot of stuff in that soup. So basically, I'm just dipping a spoon in it and licking off the spoon. It wasn't pretty, but they're old friends and, you know, they're okay with me doing that. Uh, so I don't think I had pain meds Saturday night. I think I was done by Saturday night. Sunday... I would, uh, went to visit family, and by Monday I was up and moving. Uh, not much. I'm not doing a whole lot. Today is Thursday, so it's day 10. Uh, today is the first day that I can start eating pureed foods. So the first thing on the deck is going to be mashed potatoes, and I have vegan gravy to thin it out a little bit. Pro tip on this whole thing, um, get some unsweetened almond milk because if something is too thick, it's very easy to calm it down with some unsweetened almond milk, you know, make it a little thinner. And that's really all I, I worry about is things being too thick at this point. Um, I am eating, let me, let me think what the average, like yesterday. Okay, yesterday I had a protein shake when I got up and I'm just mixing it with water. Um, then I had, I believe later I had a triple zero Greek yogurt with a half a scoop of my protein powder to get it up to 25 grams of protein. So I can have two 25 grams of protein things a day, either shakes or yogurts or whatever. So I for sure get in 50 grams of protein just right off the bat. I do that first if I have you know room, whatever. So I also, then last night when my husband had dinner, I had a half of a it's probably three quarters of a cup of strained cream of potato soup, and that was fine. And then before bed, you have to take a medicine to prevent um, GERD, and you sprinkle it on something, and I sprinkled it on some sugar-free pudding, chocolate pudding. That's what I had yesterday. So it was probably 400 calories all told, all together. Um, I'm not really sure how... how I'm going to handle that from now on. I'm going to try to keep it to four, 
four smaller meals a day, that seems to be working. And I do think it really does a lot to help with your metabolism not wanting to shut down. It's getting food on a fairly regular basis. Um, not a lot of calories and no fat and very little sugar, but it is getting nutrition. So it's not, it's not shutting down. At my age, a dead metabolism is almost guaranteed. Uh, I'm taking my supplements, drinking as much water as I can, and I'm eating chipped ice from Sonic like uh, it's my job. And I would rather do that than, than all of the other stuff put together <laughs> to keep myself hydrated. And I just enjoy it. I, I, not being able to chew things is kind of making me nuts. So, you know. So I'm on pureed foods from now until I feel that I can go into soft foods and then real food, just small, itty, bitty, bitty mounts. Custard cup size of food. I need, I need a stack of custard cups and a, a, a plethora of spoons on my counter to make my life easy. Um, if I have any more information come up, Oh, you probably want to know how I've done. <laughs> I'm not telling anybody how much I weigh. It's a personal thing. I mean, it, people aren't stupid. You can look at me and tell, you know, that I'm not 125 pounds. But um, I just don't want to do it. However, I will tell you, at this point, today is day 10. When I got up this morning, I am a full 9 pounds down. My stomach is still swollen a bit besides the hernia. I still feel some mushiness around my abdomen, so I'm probably still retaining a little fluid from that. But I am, I am legit nine pounds down, and I got a good scale, so I know that I am. I, they weighed me right before my surgery, and I weighed this morning, and it is exactly nine pounds. So I'm pretty happy with that. You can't beat it with a stick. Um, if you have any other questions, I'm sorry this is kind of tilted. It screwed up. So I straightened it up and, or, and then hit the button and I tilted it myself. So, I mean, I'm not listing, but anyway. Um, if you have any questions about this, I don't know much, but I'm happy to talk to you about it. Maybe we can work through things together. If you're thinking about it, let me know. Um, at this point, I, did, I personally didn't have a choice. I needed to have a, a surgery that's hopefully going to be around Christmas time. And my goal was to do whatever they told me to do to get to that point. Um, this is nothing to do with vanity. I am not, I'm not a vain person. I like makeup. I like to do my hair. It's a hobby. I don't do it because I'm afraid to go out. When I went out yesterday to Target for 30, 45 minutes by myself, which was the dumbest thing I've done so far, um, I didn't have any makeup at all. So I did, it's not vanity. It's, it's it's health. It's all health. It's health and mobi mobility and being healthier longer. It's being it's it's giving me that good healthy ten or fifteen years down the road. So it's an investment. It wasn't hard. It wasn't easy. It wasn't it wasn't a cakewalk. But I've done a lot harder stuff. So at this point, I can say I recommend it. When I'm talking to people who are two months, four months, six months out, they can't stop talking about it. So I'm going to assume that this is just going to get better and better and better. I have some uh, issues with worrying about this being successful in the long term because everything has failed. Uh, I don't think that this will. I don't think this is going to fail. But we shall see. And I will take you along with the ride if you want to go. If you would like to keep updates with this, subscribe. Um, I also do uh, Dollar Tree hauls. So that'll pop up too on mine. If, uh, so just, you know, go back and forth to whichever one you want. Um, but like I said, if you have any questions, if I can answer them, I sure will. And the next time I hit a milestone, or maybe uh, my checkup is August 1st. So maybe after that one, I'll post again and just let you know how the checkup went and how, you know what the weight loss is looking like and how I feel. Right now, I can tell you, without any hesitation, I feel better today than I did for the last six months prior to my surgery. Even with you know a tender tummy, like I didn't bend over really well to shave my legs. That kind of hurts. My the hole at the top of my belly is or top of my belly buttons uh, pulled loose a little bit, so. 
That's, you know, it's tender. The rest of the holes are, they're minor. It's just, it was not a big deal. It just was not a big deal. Um, that doesn't mean to say that you shouldn't take very good care of yourself if you're going through this. You mind all of your doctor's rules. You do everything they tell you to do. Um, and if your pain threshold is lower than my pain threshold, take your meds. Don't be stupid. I just didn't need them. And um, I have been off of medication for three years, two and a half years. So it was just not normal for me to take meds. Um, and because of that, I have built up a pain tolerance that probably isn't even cool. But, you know, I... I want you to do what's best for you. Every human is vastly different from the other human. But I think what I can tell you overall is that this is not the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And I feel better than I did a few months ago. I have had more ambition the last three days than I can remember the last six months. So anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I will see you on the other side. Bye.